Doing right is not always easy choice either. And another reason you need to have strength is because doing what's wrong is tip, it tends to be what's easier, right? It's easier to do what everybody else does. We're, we're creatures of habit. We're creatures of, of looking at, you know, what everybody does in society as the norm and just kind of fitting in and going along as sheep. I think that the, the Bible reference of calling people sheep is, is a pretty good reference. And, you know, everybody wants to say, I'm not a sheep, I'm not a sheep. But, you know, and I hope that's true, but in many ways it's not true. I mean, we, as people, you still will succumb to different ways of, of being a sheep. And that's the way God made us. Now we have to be careful not to just become some sheep over some false shepherd or whatever, people trying to lead you astray in a wicked way, obviously. But we have a tendency to just do and go with the flow and do what other people are doing to not stand out. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to go against the flow. Everyone's going this way. Well, I'm going to go that way too. And I'm just going to fit along and go along. Well, if you're going to be keeping God's law, oftentimes you're going to have to stand out. You're going to have to stand separate. You're going to have to go against the flow. You say, well, no, I don't care. I don't care if, if everybody around me is going out to the bar to go grab a drink. I'm not going to go. Yeah, but there, you, you know, people are going to notice you. Now, oh, where, did, where did he go? What, what are you doing? I don't care. I'm going to do what's right. And that, you know, that may be a silly example, but there's so many examples like that, and, and it affects people. It affects your thinking. What, what am I going to do if I, you know, if people, if I don't do something, people are going to notice? It's a common thought that people have. But if we're going to do what's right, and especially when it comes down to moral decisions, things you have to decide, well, I'm not even going to be around wicked people. I'm not going to, it shall not cleave to me, Right? I don't care what everybody else does. When people ask me about the game or sports or whatever, and I'm not saying watching sports is a sin, I'm not saying that, but there's other things that I do with my time that, well, you know what, if I do that's going to make me stand out. So be it. I spend my day in church on Sunday. I spend my time out soul winning. And you know what? You ought not to be ashamed to tell people you go out soul winning either. Don't be ashamed of doing something good. I don't care if it sounds weird or abnormal or people look at you funny. It's okay. It's, it, it's actually very normal. It's actually something that God commanded us to do. There's nothing wrong or weird about it. It's weird to the world. I understand that. You may not want to bring it up to somebody because you don't want to stand out because you just want to go along with the flow. But you know what? Sometimes in order to do right, you've got to have the courage to just say, no, this is what I do. There's a lot of power in doing what's right also. It actually helps your testimony out tremendously. It's way better for you to be known among your peers for doing what's right. Just in general, and just being able to not care about what they say because I'm just going to live a certain way and try to do what's right. And it's not about boasting or bragging or lifting yourself up or have a holier-than-thou attitude over anyone else. It's just about being faithful to the Lord, not being ashamed, not being embarrassed, and being willing just to say, this is what I do, and have no problems with that. And by having that type of a stance and that type of an attitude, you know what? Maybe someone will make fun of you. Maybe someone will mock you. Maybe someone will ridicule you. But you know what? Someone else might also think, oh, that's pretty interesting. I've never heard of anyone that's done that before. Oh, that person looks like they actually really believe what they, what, what they believe. They actually believe the Bible. They're actually into it, unlike anyone else that I've ever known in my life. Maybe I'll go talk to that person. Maybe I'll go ask him about it. Those situations happen, but they don't happen if you don't put yourself out there. It's easier to do what everyone else does. It's easier also to gratify the flesh when it comes to keeping God's law, keeping His commandments. You need to have the courage and the strength to say no. The strength to overcome your flesh that wants to do something that's wicked, that wants to put the, the world's eye candy in front of your eyes. 
that wants to take the second and the third and, and, the, and the gaze on the, the scantily clad person out there that's drawing your attention, you have to say no to gratifying your flesh and to overcome that and say, I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to keep the law of the Lord. I'm going to have courage and I'm going to have strength to do what's right. 